During the late 1950s, a notable shift occurred in popular culture as a talented entertainer emerged, momentarily rivaling Elvis Presley's immense popularity among teenagers worldwide. This actor, known for his wholesome image and genuine talent, captured the hearts of many with his appearances on a popular television show. Through his music and acting, he left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, providing a fresh and appealing alternative to the king of rock and roll. As we delve deeper into this fascinating period, we'll uncover the unique qualities that set this performer apart and captivated audiences, making him a true icon of his time. Ricky Nelson was born on May 8, 1940, to parents who were already well known in the entertainment industry. His father, Ozzie Nelson, was a successful band leader, and his mother, Harriet Nelson, was a talented singer. Given this show business background, it's no surprise that Ricky would follow in his parents' footsteps and become an actor and musician himself. In 1949, the Nelson started a popular radio comedy series called The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. This program, which featured the real-life Nelson family, was a huge success and helped to launch Ricky's career in show business. A few years later, in 1952, the program made its television debut. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet quickly became one of the most popular shows on television, and Ricky's career as an actor and musician continued to flourish. Despite his young age, Ricky proved to be a talented and charismatic performer, and he quickly became a favorite among audiences of all ages. The actor, known for his catchphrase, uh, don't mess around boy, gained national fame among prepubescent viewers. This phrase, originally spoken in the show, became a cultural phenomenon and cemented the actor's place in television history. Interestingly, the actor had no musical ambitions until a girlfriend expressed her admiration for Elvis Presley. This revelation sparked a new interest in music for the actor, who began to explore his own musical talents. Despite his initial lack of musical aspirations, the actor went on to have a successful career as a musician, releasing several hit songs and albums throughout his career. It's fascinating to consider how a simple phrase spoken on a television show can capture the imagination of a nation and lead to new opportunities and success. The actor's story serves as a reminder that sometimes our paths and passions can take unexpected turns, leading us to new and exciting places. In the late 1950s, the actor's father, Ozzie Nelson, played a crucial role in helping his son, Ricky, sign a one-year record deal with Verve Records. The young actor's first single was released under this label, but the deal did not last long due to a dispute over royalties. Feeling unsatisfied with the terms of the Verve Records deal, Ozzie Nelson decided to take action. He used his connections and negotiating skills to sign his son to a more favorable five-year deal with Imperial Records. This new contract provided the actor with better royalty rates and more creative control over his music. Under Imperial Records, the actor released several successful singles and albums, solidifying his place in the music industry. His career as a musician continued to thrive, even as he continued to act in films and television shows. The Imperial Records deal proved to be a significant turning point in the actor's career, allowing him to pursue his passion for music while also maintaining his status as a successful actor. In 1957, the actor's first single with Imperial Records, The Bob Baby, made waves by generating 750,000 advance orders and selling over 1 million copies. This marked a significant milestone in the actor's music career. The actor's sound on this single was heavily influenced by Carl Perkins, an artist he greatly admired. This influence was evident in the actor's music as he tried to emulate Perkins' style. The following year, in 1958, the actor released his second album. This album was a continuation of the actor's foray into the music industry and showcased the actor's talent as a musician. The album was well received by fans and added to the actor's growing reputation as a successful musician in addition to his acting career. During the late 1950s, the actor experienced significant chart success. His first single, Poor Little Fool, from his album, made history by becoming the number one single on Billboard's newly established Hot 100 Singles chart during 1958. This achievement marked a significant milestone in the actor's career and the music industry. The actor's music continued to dominate the charts 
and during 1958 and 1959, he placed 12 hits on the charts, surpassing the number of hits placed by the legendary Elvis Presley, who had 11 hits during the same period. This accomplishment further solidified the actor's position as a chart-topping artist and cemented his place in music history. The actor's music resonated with audiences, and his hits became popular anthems that fans loved to sing along to. His success in the music industry was a testament to his talent and hard work, and his music continues to be cherished by fans to this day. The actor's impact on the music industry was significant, and his contributions continue to resonate with audiences worldwide. Moving into the late 1950s, the actor, known for his role in the popular show, started releasing hit songs that would dominate the music charts. From 1957 to 1962, he released an impressive 30 top 40 hits, making him a household name in the music industry. His father, Ozzy Nelson, had the innovative idea to edit footage together to create some of the first music videos, promoting his hit records on television. The actor's good looks and talent for singing made him a natural fit for the new medium of music videos. His father, recognizing the potential of this emerging format, saw an opportunity to promote his son's music in a way that had never been done before. By editing together footage of the actor performing, Ozzy Nelson created short music videos that aired on television, giving viewers a taste of his son's music and helping to drive sales of his records. These music videos were a simple but effective way to promote the actor's music, and they laid the groundwork for the music video industry as we know it today. The actor's success in both the music and television industries made him a true trailblazer, paving the way for future artists to use television and music videos to promote their work. In conclusion, the actor's contributions to the music industry during this time period were significant and his use of television to promote his hit records was a groundbreaking move that helped to shape the music video industry as we know it today. After turning 21, the actor decided to officially change his name from Ricky Nelson to Rick Nelson. This name change marked a new chapter in his personal and professional life. In 1963, the same year as his name change, Nelson signed a 20-year contract with Decca Records. This contract was a significant milestone in his music career as it demonstrated his commitment to his craft and his desire to continue growing as an artist. In addition to his professional achievements, Nelson also experienced personal joy in 1963. He married Kristen Harmon and the couple went on to have four children together. Nelson's marriage and family life were important to him and he often spoke about the happiness and fulfillment he found in his role as a husband and father. Throughout his career, Nelson remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to act in films and television shows, and his music remained popular with fans of all ages. His contributions to the entertainment industry were significant, and he will always be remembered for his talent and dedication. Nelson's decision to change his name sign with Decca Records, and start a family were all important moments in his life. These events helped shape his career and personal life, and they will always be a part of his legacy. Despite his many accomplishments, Nelson remained grounded and focused on his work, leaving behind a body of work that continues to inspire and entertain audiences today. As his fans and colleagues reflect on his life and career, they will always remember him as a kind, talented, and dedicated individual who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. As the 1960s progressed, the music scene began to change with the British invasion and the rise of Beatlemania. This shift in popular culture had a significant impact on many artists, including the actor. His style of music started to lose its appeal and his popularity waned. Determined to stay relevant, the actor decided to pursue a new direction in his music career. In the 1970s, he turned to country music, a genre that was gaining popularity at the time. His love for the genre was evident in his performances, and he quickly gained a following among country music fans. In 1970, the actor released a cover of Bob Dylan's She Belongs to Me, which reached the top 40 on the music charts. The success of the song was a testament to the actor's ability to adapt to changing times and find success in a new genre. Despite his success in country music, the actor's last top 40 single was Garden Party, released in 1972. The song became a fan favorite and is still remembered today as one of his most popular hits. 
The actor's contributions to the music industry were significant, and his impact can still be felt today. Although his style of music changed over the years, his talent and dedication to his craft remain constant. His ability to adapt to new trends and find success in different genres is a testament to his versatility as an artist. In 1971, the actor faced a significant setback during a performance at Madison Square Garden. He had recently released a new album, but the audience was unaccepting of his departure from his classic hits. The crowd's reaction was harsh, and the actor was booed off stage. This incident left a lasting impact on him, but it didn't deter him from continuing his passion for music. A few years later, in 1980, the actor met Helen Blair, who became the only woman he dated after his divorce. Blair was a significant influence in his life, and their relationship lasted until his untimely death in 1985. In the same year as his meeting with Blair, the actor decided to make a comeback to the music scene. He reverted to using his original name, Ricky, and embarked on a successful tour. His fans were thrilled to see him back on stage, and he performed a mix of his old hits and new songs. This tour marked a significant turning point in his career, and he continued to perform and record music until his death. The Madison Square Garden incident, his relationship with Helen Blair, and his successful comeback tour were all defining moments in the actor's life. Despite the challenges he faced, he remained committed to his passion for music and left a lasting impact on the industry. In the twilight of 1985, the actor released his greatest hits album, a retrospective of his illustrious musical career. This compilation, titled All My Best, encapsulated the essence of his artistry and served as a testament to his enduring influence in the industry. Tragically, the new year brought with it a devastating turn of events. On New Year's Eve, the actor and his entourage boarded a private plane bound for a performance in Dallas, Texas. Among those on board were his band members and his fiancée, Helen Blair. Tragically, the plane crashed shortly after takeoff, claiming the lives of all aboard. The actor was only 45 years old at the time of his untimely passing. This sudden and shocking loss sent ripples through the entertainment industry and left fans around the world in mourning. The actor's contributions to music and film will forever be remembered, and his untimely death serves as a reminder of the fragility of life. His legacy continues to resonate with new generations, and his impact on the entertainment industry is indelibly etched in its history. In 1987, the actor's life took a significant turn when he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This honor recognized his substantial contributions to the music industry as he had released numerous hit songs during his career. However, his personal life was not without its challenges. A year before his induction into the Hall of Fame, the actor's family had filed a lawsuit against his estate, seeking $2 million in damages. The details of the lawsuit are not entirely clear, but it is known that the family received a settlement, albeit a smaller one than they had initially requested. Despite this setback, the actor's career and legacy remained intact. In addition to his success in music and acting, the actor's children also went on to achieve great things. His daughter, Tracy, followed in her father's footsteps and became an actress. She appeared in various films and television shows throughout the 1980s and 1990s, including Square Pegs and Joni Loves Chachai. Meanwhile, the actor's twin, Matthew and Gunnar, formed a music duo called Nelson. The pair became platinum-selling recording artists known for their catchy pop rock song and harmonies. Their hit single Love and Affection reached number one on the Billboard charts in 1990, cementing their place in music history. Overall, the actor's life was marked by both personal and professional success. Despite facing legal issues and family troubles, he remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. And his children's accomplishments in acting and music serve as a testament to his enduring influence and legacy. Ricky Nelson's impact on pop culture is still felt today, more than four decades after his untimely death. As a singer, he helped to shape the landscape of early rock and roll with hits like Travelin' Man and Hello, Mary Lou. His music, a blend of country, rock, and pop, resonated with audiences and paved the way for future artists. But Nelson's contributions to pop culture extend beyond his music. He was also a successful actor, appearing in more than 30 films and television shows. 
His big break came in 1952 when he starred alongside his parents, Ozzy and Harriet, in the hit television show The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. The show, which ran for 14 seasons, made Nelson a household name and solidified his status as a teen idol. Despite his fame, Nelson remained grounded and dedicated to his craft. He continued to act and make music throughout his career, releasing more than 30 albums and appearing in films such as Rio Bravo and The Wackiest Ship in the Army. His talent and dedication to his work have left a lasting mark on the entertainment industry. Nelson's influence can still be seen today, with many artists citing him as an inspiration. His music continues to be played on the radio, and his films and television shows are still watched by audiences around the world. It's clear that Nelson's legacy will continue to live on for generations to come. Nelson's ability to balance a successful music career with his acting pursuits is a testament to his talent and versatility as an entertainer. He was a true pioneer in the world of pop culture, and his contributions will not be forgotten. Whether you're a fan of his music or his acting, there's no denying the impact that Ricky Nelson had on the entertainment industry. In the world of entertainment, Ricky Nelson left an indelible mark as an accomplished actor and musician. Born Eric Hilliard Nelson on May 8, 1940, in Teaneck, New Jersey, he was the son of famous big band leader Ozzy Nelson and his wife, Harriet. Ricky's natural talent for music was evident from an early age, and he began his career as a teenager on his family's popular radio in television shows, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. Ricky's good looks, charm, and talent for singing quickly made him a heartthrob and a household name. His music career took off in the 1950s with hits like Hello, Mary Lou, and Travelin' Man. He became one of the first artists to use television to promote his music and his appearances on The Adventures of Ozzy, and Harriet helped to launch his successful recording career. As an actor, Ricky Nelson appeared in numerous films and television shows, including Rio Bravo with John Wayne and The Wackiest Ship in the Army with Jack Lemmon. He also starred in his own television series, The Ricky Nelson Show, which aired from 1957 to 1966. Despite his success, Ricky Nelson remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to perform and record music throughout his career, and his contributions to the entertainment industry will always be remembered. Sadly, Ricky Nelson's life was cut short when he died in a plane crash on December 31, 1985, at the age of 45. However, his legacy lives on through his music and the many memories he created for his fans. Born on May 8, 1940, Ricky Nelson's showbiz journey began in his childhood. The son of Ozzy and Harriet Nelson, both of whom were established entertainers, Ricky was exposed to the world of acting and music at a young age. His parents' popularity landed the family their own radio show, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, which later transitioned to television in 1952. Growing up on the set, Ricky naturally developed an interest in performing. He started playing guitar at seven, and by his teenage years, he was performing on his family's show. His early exposure to the entertainment industry, coupled with his parents' influence, played a significant role in shaping his career. Ricky's musical inclinations were further fueled by his admiration for artists like Chuck Berry, Little Richard, and Carl Perkins. He was particularly inspired by the rhythm and blues genre, which was not commonly explored by white artists during the 1950s. Despite the racial divide in music at the time, Ricky's interest in R&B was pivotal in integrating the genre into mainstream pop culture. In terms of mentors, Ricky's career was significantly influenced by his parents' manager, Don DeFore. DeFore recognized Ricky's potential and encouraged him to pursue music professionally. He facilitated Ricky's first recording session in 1957, which led to the release of his debut single, I'm Walkin'. The song became a massive hit, reaching number four on the Billboard charts and effectively launched Ricky's music career. Ricky Nelson's path was shaped by his family's showbiz background, his early exposure to acting and music, and the influence of artists like Chuck Berry and Little Richard. With the guidance of mentors like Don DeFore, Ricky was able to successfully navigate the entertainment industry and leave a lasting impact on both music and television. Growing up in a show business family, Ricky Nelson's passion for acting was sparked at a young age. His father, Ozzy Nelson, was a band leader, and his mother, Harriet Nelson, was a singer and actress. 
They starred in the popular radio and television series, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. As a child, Ricky often appeared on the show, playing himself. However, it wasn't until he reached his teenage years that he discovered his true passion for acting. In an interview, Ricky recalled a particular moment when he realized he wanted to pursue acting as a career. He said, I remember when I was about 14 or 15, I did a scene in Ozzy and Harriet where I had to cry. I got so into it that I actually started crying for real. Afterward, I felt this incredible rush of emotion and I knew that acting was something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Ricky's desire to act was further fueled by his love for classic films. He was particularly inspired by actors like James Dean, Marlon Brando, and Montgomery Clift. Ricky admired their ability to convey complex emotions and portray deeply flawed characters. Determined to make a name for himself in the acting world, Ricky began taking acting classes and seeking out roles in films and television shows. He eventually landed several significant roles, including in the films Rio Bravo and The Wackiest Ship in the Army. Throughout his career, Ricky remained dedicated to his craft, always striving to improve and take on new challenges. His passion for acting was evident in every performance, making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Ricky Nelson, born Eric Hilliard Nelson in 1940, faced numerous challenges on his path to becoming a successful actor and musician. Despite growing up in a family of entertainers, his early years were marked by financial struggles. His parents, Ozzie and Harriet Nelson, were popular radio stars, but the transition to television in the 1950s brought financial instability. The family even had to sell their home and move in with Ricky's grandmother. Despite these hardships, the Nelson family persevered. Ozzie and Harriet's television show, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, became a hit, providing a stable income for the family. Ricky, who had started his acting career as a child on the show, began to gain popularity as a teen idol. However, Ricky's dreams of becoming a musician were met with skepticism from the industry. At the time, it was uncommon for actors to successfully transition into music. But Ricky was determined to prove them wrong. He found creative solutions to overcome this obstacle, such as performing on his parents' show and releasing records through their production company. Ricky's first single, I'm Walkin', became a massive hit in 1957, reaching number four on the Billboard charts. This success solidified Ricky's place in the music industry and paved the way for future actors turned musicians. Throughout his career, Ricky faced numerous challenges, from financial struggles to industry skepticism. But his resilience and determination allowed him to overcome these obstacles and leave a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Ricky Nelson's career as an actor was marked by several breakthrough moments. In 1952, at the age of 11, he made his acting debut on the radio show The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, which was later adapted into a television series. His natural talent for acting was evident from the start, and he quickly became a beloved member of the cast. One of Nelson's most significant breakthroughs came in 1957 when he starred in the film Rio Bravo alongside legends like John Wayne and Dean Martin. His performance in the film was widely praised, and it helped to establish him as a serious actor. Critics and collaborators alike were impressed by his ability to hold his own against such experienced performers. In 1958, Nelson starred in the story of a poor young man, a film that further showcased his acting range. His performance in the film earned him a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama. This recognition was a significant milestone in Nelson's career and solidified his status as a talented and respected actor. Throughout the 1960s, Nelson continued to take on challenging roles in films such as Love and Kisses and The Wackiest Ship in the Army. His ability to convincingly portray a wide range of characters made him a sought-after actor in Hollywood. Despite his success as an actor, Nelson never lost sight of his passion for music. He continued to record and perform throughout his career, and his contributions to both the acting and music worlds have left a lasting impact. In the words of his co-star John Wayne, Ricky Nelson was a true talent. He could act, sing, and play the guitar. He was a triple threat, and I was proud to work with him. Nelson's breakthrough moments in acting demonstrate his natural talent, hard work, and dedication to his craft. 
His contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be celebrated and remembered today. Ricky Nelson's artistic vision and process were deeply personal and introspective. As an actor, he was known for his ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance. Nelson's approach to acting was characterized by his attention to detail and his commitment to authenticity. He often drew upon his own life experiences to inform his performances, lending a sense of realism and depth to his characters. One of the unique aspects of Nelson's style was his ability to convey a wide range of emotions with a minimum of dialogue. He was a master of body language and facial expressions, using these tools to communicate his character's inner thoughts and feelings. Nelson's understated approach to acting was a refreshing contrast to the more bombastic styles of some of his contemporaries. Nelson's personal experiences and worldview were deeply woven into his work. Growing up in the public eye as the child of famous parents, Nelson faced considerable pressure to live up to their expectations. This pressure, combined with the challenges of adolescence, gave Nelson a deep well of emotional experiences to draw upon in his acting. He often played characters who were struggling to find their own identity, reflecting his own struggles with fame and expectations. Despite the challenges he faced, Nelson remained committed to his craft. He was known for his professionalism and his dedication to his work, often going above and beyond what was required of him to ensure that his performances were of the highest quality. Nelson's approach to acting was not just about memorizing lines and hitting his marks. It was about creating a fully realized character that was true to life. Nelson's artistic vision and process were deeply influenced by his experiences and worldview. He was a thoughtful and introspective actor who brought a unique perspective to his work. Through his subtle and nuanced performances, Nelson was able to convey complex emotions and ideas, leaving a lasting impact on the world of acting. Ricky Nelson's impact and influence in the acting industry are significant and far-reaching. Known for his role in the popular television series The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, Nelson's portrayal of a typical American teenager helped define the genre of family sitcoms. Nelson's contribution to the industry went beyond his acting skills. As a musician, he brought a fresh sound to rock and roll, blending it with elements of country and pop. His music became the soundtrack for a generation, and his influence can still be heard in contemporary music today. Industry experts and those inspired by Nelson have praised his contributions to the industry. According to actor and director Ron Howard, Ricky Nelson was a trailblazer. He showed us that it was possible to be a successful musician and actor at the same time. Nelson's ability to balance his music and acting careers while maintaining his appeal to both audiences was a rare feat. His influence can be seen in the careers of many successful actors and musicians who have followed in his footsteps, including Justin Timberlake, Jennifer Lopez, and Hugh Laurie. Nelson's impact on storytelling is also noteworthy. His portrayal of a relatable and authentic teenager in The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet helped pave the way for more complex and nuanced portrayals of teenagers in media. His character struggles with identity, relationships, and growing up resonated with audiences and helped shape the genre of family sitcoms. In conclusion, Ricky Nelson's contribution to the acting industry is undeniable. His influence can be seen in the careers of successful actors and musicians, and his impact on storytelling continues to resonate today. As we reflect on Nelson's legacy, we are reminded of the power of authenticity and the importance of representing the complexities of the human experience on screen. Ricky Nelson, born Eric Hilliard Nelson in 1940, was not just a talented actor and musician, but also a family man with a strong sense of community. Growing up in a show business family, Nelson's personal values were shaped by his parents' work ethic and dedication to their craft. Nelson's love for music began at a young age and he often incorporated his passion into his acting work. He starred in the popular television show The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet with his family, and the show often featured musical performances by Nelson and his co-stars. Despite his success in the entertainment industry, Nelson remained humble and dedicated to giving back to his community. He was passionate about various philanthropic efforts, including supporting children's charities and advocating for animal rights. One of Nelson's most notable philanthropic efforts was his involvement with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. 
Nelson's own son, Matthew, was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and Nelson became a dedicated advocate for the organization. He performed at various JDRF events and used his platform to raise awareness about the disease and the importance of research. Nelson's love for music also extended beyond his own performances. He was a collector of vintage guitars and was known for his generosity in lending his instruments to other musicians. He also supported up-and-coming musicians and often invited them to perform with him. Nelson's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his work. He believed in using his platform for good and often incorporated his passions into his acting and music. His philanthropic efforts and dedication to his community serve as a testament to his character and the impact he left on the world. In addition to his philanthropic work, Nelson was also a devoted family man. He married Kristen Harmon in 1963, and the couple had four children together. Nelson's family was often present at his performances and events, and he was known for his strong bond with his children. Nelson's life was tragically cut short in a plane crash in 1985, but his legacy lives on through his music and philanthropic efforts. His dedication to his community and passion for giving back continue to inspire those who knew him and his fans around the world. Reflecting on Ricky Nelson's legacy, it's clear that his impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. As an actor and musician, he excelled in both fields, leaving a rich body of work that continues to inspire aspiring professionals. Nelson's career began in the late 1940s when he appeared on his family's radio show, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. He later transitioned to television, where he starred alongside his parents and brother in the hit series of the same name. Nelson's good looks, charm, and talent made him a household name, and he quickly became one of the most popular teen idols of the 1950s and 1960s. In addition to his acting career, Nelson was also a successful musician. He released his first single, I'm Walkin', in 1957, and went on to record numerous hits throughout the following decade. Nelson's music combined elements of rock, country, and pop, and he is often credited with helping to popularize the country rock sound. For aspiring actors and musicians, Nelson's legacy offers several valuable lessons. First and foremost, he showed that it's possible to excel in multiple areas of the entertainment industry. Nelson's success as an actor and musician serves as a reminder that talent and hard work can lead to great achievements in any field. Another important lesson from Nelson's career is the importance of staying true to oneself. Throughout his career, Nelson remained committed to his own unique style and sound, refusing to be pigeonholed or defined by industry trends. This authenticity resonated with fans and helped to establish Nelson as a true original. Finally, Nelson's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of perseverance. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout his career, Nelson never gave up. He continued to work hard, pursue his passions, and push himself to new heights, leaving behind a body of work that continues to inspire and entertain. In terms of future contributions, it's clear that Nelson's legacy will continue to resonate for years to come. His music and acting continue to be celebrated and studied, and his influence can be heard and seen in the work of countless artists and performers who have followed in his footsteps. For aspiring actors and musicians, Nelson's advice is simple, stay true to yourself, work hard, and never give up. By following these principles, you too can leave behind a legacy that inspires and entertains for generations to come. Ricky Nelson's journey in the entertainment industry is a testament to his unwavering passion and innovation. Born on May 8, 1940, Nelson began his career as a child actor, captivating audiences with his charm and talent. He soon ventured into music, blending rock and roll with country and pop influences, which earned him numerous hits and a devoted fan base. Throughout his career, Nelson continued to push boundaries and explore new creative avenues. He never shied away from taking risks, constantly reinventing himself and his art. Despite facing challenges and setbacks, Nelson persevered, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Nelson's impact transcended generations and genres. His music and acting continued to resonate with audiences today inspiring new artists and captivating fans worldwide. His life serves as a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. Picture this a young boy with a dream who grew up to become a beloved actor 
and musician, leaving behind a legacy that continues to shape the entertainment industry. Nelson's journey is a captivating tale of passion, innovation, and the enduring impact of creativity and perseverance. Let's take a moment to appreciate the work of Ricky Nelson, the talented actor who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. With his captivating performances, Nelson etched his name in the annals of Hollywood history. Born on May 8, 1940, Nelson's career spanned over four decades, during which he graced both the small and big screens. His work resonates with many, even today, as a testament to his enduring impact. One of Nelson's most memorable roles was in the TV show The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, where he played himself, showcasing his versatile acting skills. This popular series aired from 1952 to 1966, providing a bustling landscape for Nelson to hone his craft. Throughout his career, Nelson released numerous albums and starred in various movies, including Rio Bravo and The Wackiest Ship in the Army. These roles, among many others, helped solidify his status as an iconic figure in the entertainment industry. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Ricky Nelson's work and legacy? Share your memories and favorite performances in the comments below. And if you enjoy our content, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's step into the vibrant world of artistic expression and cherish the legacies left behind by talented individuals like Ricky Nelson.